Now what is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video and today we will be finishing our navigation bar. So in the last tutorial we already like did the main parts of it. Uh, now what I kind of don't like about it is that this search bar here is too big and we need to adjust the spacing. So let's first take care of our search bar. So let's hop over to our editor and let's go to search bar. And here we see that we always have this is medium class. And if we leave out this is medium class, oops, yeah, like so, then you see, oh, it's all of a sudden smaller, right? And if we leave the is medium class out for all of these, in this component at least, then it will be smaller. So uh, that's a pretty good idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, this search bar is going to take a prop. And now we will say um, const size class equals props dot small. And then we will say is medium. So that means if we pass something like if props dot small is set then we're not going to do to add any additional class and if not we're going to add this is medium class now what we need to do is we need to convert all of this like the normal strings to back ticks and make it an make it an expression and then instead of is medium we will say doll and then size class so we're using string interpolation to get the job done. And here the same. So we will say dollar size class. And where else? Oh yeah, here as well. But here we need the back text first. Okay. Up. And then we can delete this. And we can say here size class. And is there anywhere else? Yes, here. We need, we add size class as well. And here as well, oops, here as well, size class. And then in our nav bar, I should just pass small. Okay, so let's go back. And we see nice. So this looks much, much nicer, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, now it's smaller, now it's properly aligned. That looks pretty, pretty good. Now, one thing though, like we need a little bit of space between the logo and the search bar itself. So since we already have a uh, class for logo, we can just say uh, maybe margin, what is it, right? Yes, one RAM maybe. Let's say like this. Yes, that looks much nicer. And now if we go back to our screenshot here, then we see that all that stuff is actually centered, like horizontally centered. And the way we center things horizontally inside a horizontal flex container is just to say justify content center. And bam, here it is. Nice. So as far as I can tell, this looks exactly the same like this. Let me remove this. Yes, that looks pretty, pretty nice. So I would say with that regards, we're done with this component. Mm, let's just commit our changes so that, you know, we have everything properly in our version control. So we're going to say get status. Okay, we changed the search component apparently. And then we also added the navbar, that's okay. So we will say git add dash a, git commit dash m, add navbar, and then we will say git push. Nice. So now everything is synced up. And I would say this concludes this video so in the next lectures we will start working on the other components for example this sub nav 
this sub menu over here um, where you can see like this restaurants and home services and these kind of things and uh, yeah let's see how that goes so thank you very much for watching please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and please also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so